um, for... I think we can do it, as long as we get, like, a really good jump. Like we got to time this perfectly. So, three, and two, and one, and go, and jump! Okay.
guys and welcome back to another episode of Primal Fear from Evidence Astro. Guys, my name is Natural Causes and welcome to my crib. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Guys, we, we built a base. I mean, we're kind of outgrowing the previous one so I just went in and I made a little base. But I also did in between episodes since I went and I killed a wandering loot boss. But I let it get all the way up to God Life, and when you get a turbo or something, they become huge. Like, look at this. It's massive. They, they are really, they're not that massive when you're actually playing, but the dermis of them is just huge. It, it's pretty insane. <laughs> I, I, I actually got a fright when I put it in. I was like, oh my god, that is so big. But yeah, guys, welcome to my new base. We got a little crafting station over here with like a mini kitchen, you know. Got our forge over here. We actually went and we did dedicated storage. I know, surprising. I still want to go and maybe potentially make a second floor and then have this as like the sort of support beam all the way up to the second floor and have it like a centerpiece. In case you don't no no in case you don't know what this is, this is the S plus dedicated storage intake. So like you could come here, like say we want to and let's where's draw so we'll go withdraw the hide so you can see there there's zero here we can just go up to the thing punch it and i'll automatically put the hide into the storage box so yeah you can see we got all the stuff we'll ever need in storage boxes i still have to go ahead and make sure i think for whatever reason when it sets up the caustic feathers don't aren't in the dot INR, so I have to go figure out how I can manually put them in so that the electric feathers can get a box as well and yeah this base is in a it's a pretty cool location it's a relatively flat area I'm hoping I'm not going to get harassed too much by dangerous things I can see there's already a buffoon mesopithecus which we'll just go ahead get rid of that guy we don't want to have to be dealing with that and yeah, there's also one of these things outside, so I can come here and just immediately put all the resources onto my, like from my dino onto it. But yeah, pretty cool little location. It's maybe slightly more dangerous than our private island, but you know, I like it. Give you a nice overview of my little castle here, or the keep as I'm calling it. It's something nice. And we just got a wall. I'll eventually go ahead and make some tech primal tech turrets so that we can just like not have to worry about all the dinos and whatever we'll just have some tech turrets around make sure that they can deal with this but, oh my word this thing is so big <laughs> look at the size of it they, i promise you they are not this big in game but for whatever reason the derma sees us and like nah we're going big we're gonna make this thing huge but yeah guys here's our chaos broodmother that we've decided that we tamed up last episode and yeah no we pretty we're doing all right for ourselves you know sure i don't have anything super detailed that i so yeah we'll go here we can just check out our previous base you see here i'm going to leave all my tech transmitters over here so we can continue to scan I actually need to come along celestial spino can i pick you up yes i can I'll just bring along our celestial spino. Just carry him. We might come back here and do something nice with this place. I mean, this is still our garden in central. Although, uh, I don't see any plants in there. Uh, no, the plants are still there. Okay, interesting. So yeah, you can see we got our little greenhouse garden over here. And yeah, this is our old place. We'll definitely not destroy it. I still want to come here and build like a cool little castle bay in the area but for now I, I i feel like i needed more space so that is why we ended up going ahead and making a new base it's not that far away so it's still pretty easy to go back and collect anything that i need i have gone ahead and like transferred all the resources and something that i am now just thinking would be pretty cool is if i can extend this wall all the way down here i could have like a little ocean space for ocean here oh spino what you what do you want to eat you, you know what go ahead go play 
Go hunt something down. You obviously want to. There you go. What are you trying to fight? Okay. You just want to murder? Sure. Go ahead. Be my guest, Spino. Be my guest. So, yeah, you can just chill down there. And, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's up with Mr. Spino over there. He's grumpy. He, he wasn't happy about the move because... Maybe because I left him behind. And I'd actually forgotten about him. So, yeah. No, no, I'm very happy. We've also got ourselves some Dermises, some Taxidermy bases here. We've got our Chaos Broodmother over here. We've got Hephaestus in its little spot. And then we got our Kitten. Kerosene. Just like plain. What's really cool about this, the S Plus versions, is you can get animations and it actually looks really cool. Like this. I mean, it, and you can like pretty much stop it wherever you like. And yeah, you can just like stop the animation and you can see we now got like a little cat that's upside down. <laughs> it looks really cool. Oh. But yeah, that is it for the base. As I say, a little crafting area here. We got our tech replicator. All the dedicated storages and yeah, nice. It's very nice. So yeah, I will be right back and then we can go do something. I feel like I want to go tame something. I'm not sure what. You know what I want to tame? I want to tame a fabled Bezel Buffo. Because I th I've heard rumors that they can like jump super far. So, you know what? Let's get out our scanner. If we have it on us, we do. That's great. And we can just check out where the Bezel Buffos are. If I can spell it right. Oh, it's Bielzu Buffo. Whatever. Oh, there's only one on the map. That's okay. 46. Was it 48? <laughs> I should have looked properly. Anyway. 46. 6. Okay. Cool. Let, let's go quickly grab up this guy. Shouldn't be too difficult to tame him up. And yeah. It's just this direction. Oh, it's in the swamp. Who would have guessed, you know? Like, that you would go find the frogs in the swamp. No one would have guessed that ever. Oh, there's an origin over there. Well, we're still on the on a mission to just kill as many origins as we can. Just build up that. And there's a toxic. There's a normal one. We're just looking now for this fabled Bills of Buffo. How do you say that? Guys, let me know down below how you said it. Or maybe I am saying it right. Bezel Buffo. Bilzo. Bufo, however you want to say it. Whatever. <laughs> oh, is that you? That's a toxic. So we are looking for the fabled. Hopefully I don't kill it there. Nope, just killed some. Killed some bugs, you know. Got to get rid of them. Clear out the area a little bit. There you are. I see you. And I want to just pick you up. Because taming stuff in the swamp is never fun. As you can see, I already had Capros come in for me. Like, come on, guys. Just leave me alone. I just want my frog. Give me my froggy. <laughs> so, what I want to do with this guy. I want to pump, like, everything into movement speed. And then just go to the highest mountain and jump. <laughs> I think that's going to be super fun. Oh, I still got to learn the location of my base. Yep. I was completely blind, completely past it. So, no, Mr. Spino, leave my frog alone. Oh, yeah, hopefully that doesn't damage my frog. He's going wild over there. Okay, that's fine. So, I'm just going to come over here, whistle passive. Yo, guys, why is everyone immediately coming for my frog, you know? Like, everyone. Just leave my frog alone. It's gonna be my, our new friend. I missed. I missed again. Oh, ah, the stupid frog. There we go. <laughs> How did I miss so many times? I'm terrible. Why wow, oh, do I hear noises? What's attacking me? Oh, it's just a primal tech parasol. That's fine. You can't get through the fence, so there you go. And one fabled kibble for you. One tame helper for you. Quickly tame you up. There we go. Got a little frog. Nice. 
Let's quickly go ahead and make our saddle. Where have I put the Primal Smithy? Over here. So I want the Ilzu before the fabled one, please. Thank you. Oh, so nice having a nice and a nice quiet base. And we, you know what? I am going to use a max experience potion on this because why not? Where, where you go, Mr. Frog? Are you inside you? You're behind? Come on, dude. Where are you going? Over here, Mr. Froggy. There we go. We'll put the saddle on you. Can I put a hat on you? No. Put a hat on that? No. Oh, well. I thought it would be pretty funny if I could put a hat on my frog. Oh, and this guy's already fast. So, take one of those and pow! So, the frog. I feel like we gotta start out just with a. Ooh. Mr. Spino, can you chill? What did this fish do to you, dude? Like, seriously. Okay. Sure, Mr. Spino. Do you take full damage? It doesn't look like it. So, let's see. Three, two, one, and... Oh, lag. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. Three, two, one, and jump! Okay, okay. Pretty good, pretty good. But now... What happens when we just start pumping in the movement speed? We'll, we'll test about halfway. And then we'll... We'll see how... Okay, so 30 points left, and really a lot faster and jump oh that's that's looking good are oh, you are jumping far my dude num, num, num. we'll just like I mean we might as well do froggy things and get all the cementing paste I mean I don't have a super healthy supply of cementing paste so <laughs> it's nice to be able to have something that can actually get it and just eat the compies om nom 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 awesome okay everything now all the rest into movement speed and then i'm going to fly the frog up to the highest point and see how high i can go Whee! <laughs> that's actually so much fun okay mr spine <laughs> the spino is just like a fish gathering machine like wow chill dude you you gotta chill you got a chill i'm afraid mate you got a chill we this is fun I like this. this frog is so quick. We should have brought him into the fastest dino mission. And droop. I missed. Oh no. <laughs> what are the chances that he jumps straight into the wall and then you can't even get across? I mean, we would have made it. Even though we completely messed up the jump, we would have made it if we didn't hit that wall. So you know what? Uh, uh do we got raptors out. Oh no. No, no, aberrant raptors can pull you off your mount. That's super bad. I'm so glad I was able to kill him. <laughs> this jump is insane. Oh my word, like literally. And jump. Whee! <laughs> he needs a bridge, you know? Bridge for who? Not for the frog. Oh. And. Where am I going to land? Oh. Hey! I almost landed across. That was pretty good. I almost made it across. Not quite, but almost. <laughs> this is so much fun. You guys, if you've never just done this and messed around, it's actually quite fun. We got the primal tech parasaur after us. And so we are just like jumping through the trees. <laughs> this is cool. Uh, oh, but uh, this guy's fun. I like him. Now, uh, this episode's going to be a little shorter today, just because I spent a lot of time building the base and editing the time lapse, so... A bit of a shorter video today, but that's okay. We got... Hopefully that's just my Celestial Spino and not something bad. Oh. Hey, we, we got something... A water-traveling dino. I don't think we actually have one other than the Spino. No. <laughs> It'll just like dodge you out the way of everything. Cool. So let's go find a high cliff and launch the scar off the side of it. So I think that's going to be super fun. I mean, just 
launching yourself with the frog of the top of the world. Uh, that, that's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. We just got to keep running our way through. <laughs> this is the fastest frog known to man. Let, let's go up the pyramid. And boing, boing. <laughs> we can fly. Oh shit, that's a reaper. That's a spirit. No, no, it's not a spirit. It's just an alpha. Alpha thorny dragon. I thought it was maybe like a spirit thylaco. Thylacolio. Obviously not. It's a dodo rex. An alpha dodo rex, in fact. Don't worry. We won't bother you. You don't bother us. And jump. <laughs> this frog could literally like jump across the whole map pretty much. I mean, this is just insane. It's insanely stupid, but pretty insane nonetheless. Mm, oh, that's a spirit. Spirit spiner. That's cool. You can stay. Oh, there's a pegasus. And a Malin. Oh, and we have spiders here. This is obviously from our Chaos Broodmother. What's up, guys? Uh. Nom, nom, nom. I'll eat you. Eat the spiders. On my frog. <laughs> can, can I kill my own spiders for chitin? Or chitin? Keratin? However you want to call it. Probably not. That'd be broken. Considering it's... Something that's pretty hard to come by, so to be able to just kill your own spawns would... You can probably get meat, but I don't think you can get the chitin. Chitin. Keratin. However you want to say it. I never know. And... Jump! Who would have thought you'd get a frog leap... Leapfrogging across the desert, you know? This is actually so much fun. Who would have thought you could have so much fun just leapfrogging across the desert? It's interesting, you don't get cementing paste from killing insects, or, or killing tarantulas and uranios. You only get it from killing the Meganeura and the Titanomeras. However you say it, or however you want to say it, I don't care. Oh, that was a terrible jump. <laughs> hey, this guy's cool. I like him. Nice. Frog gets a, gets a C plus in terms of funness. No, in terms of funness, maybe like an A plus. Okay. Oh, you guys are. I, I want to launch myself off the Gaza. Come on. Let's go. And launch. <laughs> That's awesome. I did not expect to go this high. What the heck? We. I hope. I really hope my frog doesn't take full damage in that it's not just a certain height. Because. Ah! Hey! We survived! I'm so honestly surprised. I want to do that again. I want to do it again. I want to do it again. <laughs> that, that was cool. Ah. Okay, okay. I wonder if you could hit this thing with momentum so that you go like. Can go forwards with that distance. Okay, I am ready for you, Geyser. Launch me. Ooh, Vulture trying to take me on. Wee! <laughs> you go so high. Jeez, why do you go so high? Imagine you just like running around on a team that can take fall damage, and you just accidentally run over one of those things as it's launching. Your team's dead. You're dead. You're both dead. Everything's just dead. Like, that's an insta-kill. Right there. Well, not insta, but by the time you hit the ground, yeah. Oh. Okay, nice little froggy. Well done. Ooh. Just gotta keep... You just gotta keep moving, you know? Whee! Sweet. A plus, froggy. A plus. I'm gonna name you Hopper. Yes. Very original. But, hey! <laughs> it's just like bouncing all over the place. So I'm gonna name my froggy with. Can I not name you? There we go. Hopper. There we go. Let's let's go, Hopper. Uh, who would have thought that just running around on a frog could be fun? You know, pretty cool. And straight into a cliff. Uh, Hey, we made it. Oh, that was surprising, honestly. 
You can just like leap across the leapfrog. Yeah. I should have named it Leapfrog. Oh well. Too late now. He's Hopper. Cool. We are at the top of the pyramid. There is a demonic hyenodon over there. So let's go and let's launch. Whee! We we have to go higher. We we do have to go higher. So what would be the highest place? Let me think, what's the highest place on this map? It's probably on top of the mountain. So, well, let's just go back in the... Ooh, that's a lot of trilobites. They also only give chitin, they don't give the cementium paste, that's weird. I thought all the insects gave cementium paste when you ate them with the frog, you know? Like, no, you can see we've got a whole bunch, but we've also got a lot more chitin. Weird. Cool. Griff Lightning, you can be our mighty steed for today. To take us up to the top of the mountain. Now, let's see. We don't want to have to deal with any dragons. Well, not dragons. Wyverns. Some wyverns, as people like to call them, even though it's a wyvern. And let's fly up over here. So, I feel like over here is a good spot. We've got a decent little run up. Uh, it's probably... That's a... That is a damn fast poison wyvern. That thing's obviously got quite a high uh, speed ivy. Nice. Oh. And that is a really pretty apex fire wyvern. Oh, I love the colors. It's like blue and red. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, cool. That was a really pretty one. And another Dodo Rex. Come on, guys. What's with all the Dodo Rexes? So, I feel like here is our perfect opportunity. So, I want to try and launch all the way to Wyvern Volcano. And he do send you to the keep. So, that is our, our goal. We want to launch ourselves from here. That's actually damn far. <laughs> That's damn far. I think we can do it as long as we get like a really good jump. Like we got to time this perfectly. So, three, and two, and one, and go, and jump. Okay, we're not going to make it. <laughs> we're not going to make it. Wow, that we got we got closer than I thought. <gasps> that spirit wyvern. We we got pretty close, I must say. We we genuinely did get closer than I actually expected once I saw it. Oh, we hit a tree. Of course, we hit a tree. Sure. Fortunately, our frog we can't just escape the wyverns by heading into the water because they can't get us yet. But yeah, guys, I think that is going to be it for this episode. If you have enjoyed this episode, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Ah, uh, no, leave me, leave me alone. Uh, save me, Froggy. Hopper. Hey, well done. Hopper, you save me. Nom, nom, nom. Okay. Uh, this is bad. This is really bad. Okay. Anastego, seriously guys, leave me alone. Leave me alone, I'm just a frog. Oh wow. No, Hopper. No, swim. Swim. Oh my gosh. And we gotta just like eat them in the water. Because we, we win the water fight. Oh no. We'll ride our mighty steed, the frog, into battle. I, I can't see. Which way are you facing? There we go. And ride the mighty steed. <laughs> it's our horse, the mighty steed. <laughs> we'll ride our mighty steed into battle. <laughs> this looks hilarious. Charge! Jump! <laughs> this looks so hilarious. I love it. 
Oh, I love the chickadees. Oh, no, 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 no. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. And jump. Whee. Cheers, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.